This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at competitive and non-competitive inhibitors. Competitive inhibitors bind at the active site of the enzyme. They compete with the substrate for the active site. They usually have a chemical structure similar to the substrate. Once they bind to the active site, they do not form products, they just block the active site and make it unavailable to the substrate. So here we have an enzyme with its active site. And as you can see, a competitive inhibitor binds to the active site of the enzyme, therefore preventing the substrate from binding. Increasing the concentration of the substrate reduces the extent of the inhibition, as fewer of the inhibitor molecules are able to bind at the active site. Next we look at the effect of a competitive inhibitor on the value of Vmax and the Michaelis constant Km. In this graph, the blue curve represents the rate of reaction of an enzyme with no inhibitor, and the green curve represents the rate of reaction with a competitive inhibitor. So as we can see from this graph, the value of Vmax is not changed, as there is still a substrate concentration where full enzyme activity can be achieved. The value of the Michaelis constant Km is increased as it takes a higher substrate concentration to reach Vmax. Next we look at non-competitive inhibitors. Non-competitive inhibitors bind away from the active site. The site at which a non-competitive inhibitor binds is called the allosteric site. This results in a change in the protein's conformation which alters the shape of the active site inhibiting its ability to bind to the substrate. So here we have an enzyme with its active site and as you can see, the competitive inhibitor binds away from the active site at the allosteric site. The active site has changed shape, therefore the substrate can no longer bind to the active site. And finally, we look at the effect of a non-competitive inhibitor on the value of Vmax and the Michaelis constant Km. So by looking at the graph, we can see that the value of Vmax is decreased, but the value of the Km is unchanged. And the final point, increasing the concentration of the substrate, does not reduce this type of inhibition as the active site is unavailable. Let's end with a summary. A competitive inhibitor binds at the active site. A non-competitive inhibitor binds away from the active site. A competitive inhibitor is similar in structure to the substrate, whereas a non-competitive inhibitor may have a different structure to the substrate. With a competitive inhibitor, the value of Vmax is unchanged, and the value of Km is increased. With a non-competitive inhibitor, the value of Vmax is lowered and there's no change in the value of Km. And finally, increasing the concentration of substrate has an effect with a competitive inhibitor, and with a non-competitive inhibitor, increasing concentration of the substrate has no effect.